In this case, we're going to use another data, which is a grouped data, to find the mean and the standard deviation of the data. So in this case, we had x is the number of siblings in a family, which can take values 0, 1, 2, 3. That means in a family, zero sibling means the whoever you are asking, he or she has no brother or sister. So if there is a student, a person who has three siblings, so there are four children in that family. And we have 20 different students in the class. Five of them said she has no sibling, zero sibling. Eight of them, one sibling, and so on. So if you add them together, you get the total number of students, the sample size, n equals to 20. And we want to find the mean, for example. So we have to multiply 0 times 5, 1 times 8, which is this, 8, 10, 6. And when you add them together, this is 24. That means in this sample of 20 different people, the total number of siblings is 24. So the average is 24 over 20 is 1.2. Now to find the variance, we find the deviation again at x minus x bar, which is in this case 0 minus 1.2, negative 1.2, and square them, which is 1.44. We square them because you, we don't want to keep negative and positive together. So this column will be 1.44, then uh, 1 minus 1.2, which is negative 0.2, if we square them to 0 0.04 and so on. But remember, for each of them there is frequency. Five of the families have this number. So we have to multiply the five, this one and this one, which is 7.2. And if we multiply by eight, this one which is 0 0.32 and so on. And then when you add them together, that becomes 17.2. So this is numerator is 17.2 and this is 19. So 17.2 over 19 is 0 0.9052. And then you take the square root to get the standard deviation, which is 0.9514. So that's the way you compute standard deviation. So when you go home, start from here and do all the calculations at least two, three times. Try to see what's the difference between this problem and the problem before it that you have done. You have found mean and standard division for a data without frequency. So only differences between these two is that in this case, each x has a frequency. In that case, the frequency was one for each of them. So when you have time, you go over this and if you have questions, you can contact me. Thank you.